What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Tamar's side of the Jesse Wu story of her wanting to unalive her friend. Yeah, let's get into it. So I me and show personal text, and I said I would never do that, but let's get into it. All right, y'all. So Tamar, I we can barely am see taking that. 100% accountability. What I am saying is crazy. And let me just tell you what I why what I'm saying is crazy. Number one, I am wasted. I am frustrated. I am broken. I am so upset because the person that we're talking about um, came to the Cinco de Mayo, um, actually my Cinco de Mayo event. Why is, was it my Cinco de Mayo e event? Well, because Cinco de Mayo, fun fact, is Tamar Braxton Day in Houston. So every single year, I celebrate Cinco de Mayo, and I have an event. Every Tamartian in the world knows that. So I don't know why she said that this was supposed to be an all-girls event. No, ma'am. Not only did she bring her homegirls, but other people who worked at Dish Nation was there, and they were supposed to bring their spouse, too. They just... Maybe she not a Tay Martian show. Didn't come until we went to the second location. But let's just get into these texts. All of these texts, mind you. Tamar, we can't see him, child. This happened in November. This text messages happened in November. The beginning of November. So I don't know why this is coming out now. So you can see through the text, I am not speaking about Jesse. We can't see. But whatever text she showed us, yeah, you was. I would never, ever threaten my friend. Okay. Oh, excuse me. You didn't threaten her, but you threatened her friend. Okay, so let's get into <laughs> the second one. So, mind you, I'm going in. And the reason why I'm going in is because this person was at the Cinco de Mayo party of mine now, it was only like eight of us okay so i'm feeling like upset i feel you know betrayed like girl like girl your friend who you invited to my party is trying to talk you know to my ex now y'all gotta understand like when you got an ex and first of all me and jay shouldn't have been communicating anyway but we were communicating we was trying to be friends we you know we have a whole family you know together we was trying to be cool you know for the kids or whatever and it, it just wasn't a good idea to, to still try to be friends, right? But I am upset because he is outside, and the what that got to do with Jesse? Reason Jesus Christ, she a little all uh, over the place, ain't it? Part three. Damn, did we get part two? We can show personal text and. I uh it's not her friend. So I'm not thinking, you know, I'm really saying something wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying something wrong because I'm saying something wrong, but I'm not saying nothing wrong because Jesse said that's not her homegirl. So I'm not disrespecting you, Jesse. Next slide. Y'all not even gonna hold your eye was irate and out of control. Number one, like I said, I was drinking. I was at home by myself. You know what I'm saying? I was just going off. And the that's girl good. name she is Maggie. Not said the girl name. <laughs> right? And when I talked to Jesse on the phone during this whole rant, she had told me she don't fuck with that girl. And the girl got a boyfriend and the girl be cheating on her boyfriend. So the last time she saw her, she paid her debts. That's not her girl. You know what I'm saying? So I, I promise y'all, I did not know back in November that this would ever come up again when I was in a broken place thinking I'm in a safe place with my homegirl. And as you can see down below, I'm not tripping because somebody's trying to talk to Jay, right? I'm tripping because this the same person who was cackalacking, throwing them back, having a blast, put us up in her story. As you can see below, you see how she posted us all in the story. And I was just like, well, damn, this is what we doing out here. Like we all going to hang out together. And the second we break up, you trying to holler at somebody. I just think that is crazy. And I just think that just breaks all types of girl codes. Okay, y'all. So as you can see, me and Jess had a conversation the very next day about, you know, my, my texts to her, you know, when I was upset, right? November 8th at 150. Me, hey sis, love you upside down. Love you too, you doing. 
Tamar think that woman owe her some loyalty and she don't. I'm better. I said, yeah, Atlanta is toxic. I called her. We talked about this. We laughed. We kikied about it. Like girlfriends. I had no reason to believe. Now, I, I, I don't know. I had absolutely, if you can read y'all, we are talking like homegirls. I had absolutely no reason to believe that she was offended and felt threatened. And I threatened her and her forever. She's so dramatic. Okay. That's the same one. Okay. You will not. You and, oh, the same racist that, oh, and the same Santa Claus that when you got drunk at my Cinco de Mayo event, carried your big ass down them steps in the rain into Maggie's car. See, that's too much for my man to do. Uh-uh. Your big ass gonna walk your big ass to your car. <laughs> Fuck y'all thought this was. That one, right? Yeah. Like, nobody was mean, ever mean to her. Listen, I had her back in her face and behind her back. Women be drunk. Nigga got a carrier to the car. Fuck around the next day, she like, I have a bruise on my back. Where did it come from? And he like, shit, I just carried you to your car. You know, she probably bruised easy or something. Next thing you know, she's saying that he done touched her in an inappropriate way. I'm not taking you to your car. Grow up. Know how to drink. You know what I'm saying? When everybody, my whole team was like, why is she opening up for you? She, she can't not. sing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, that's my friend. You know, she's been trying a long time. And I like her and I like her music. I fought for her. Yes, it's my company. But still, you know, like you still got a team. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's giving very much. I, I really did. Was her? I was her biggest cheerleader. I had no idea. So when I unfollowed her, I unfollowed her last week. When her video that she made three weeks ago was circling through this nation, everybody was saying how disrespectful she was about speaking negatively about me. And when I got engaged, because that's why she got unfollowed, because my feelings was hurt. That was my friend. And so publicly, you're speaking negatively about the same racist guy who you call racist, same person who helped you when you was like you threw up at the restaurant, Jesse. Oh my god. It was embarrassing. He helped you. And this is the same person that you were going in. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm lost. As you can see, <laughs> I'm cheering for her. You know what I'm saying? Like she's in Ghana. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, girl, you're so beautiful and smart and you funny. I'm trying to encourage my friend. Where do you feel threatened, Linda? <laughs> she all the way feel like she's not likable to men. She all the I'm not likable to men. I know this about myself, and that's okay. I will have a child of my own. I will adopt an orphanage. It's okay. I'll always be, uh, I don't know. Girl, go get you a bitch. <laughs> Can we get any stud poppies in the lineup? <laughs> For Jesse Woo, girl. Girl, oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I took myself about him. Um, it's not just Atlanta. It's all over. Even here in Ghana, commitment and marriage is in the past and it's okay. I have my orphanage. Besides, I find men extremely annoying and I don't want one living in my house. You need a bitch. Mm. To all the rich stuff, poppies, if you like 6'3", Rich though, six three and rich. Mm -hmm. Slide, mm -hmm. give her what she missing, and don't get on her nerve, and don't plan on living with her, and she wanna adopt kids anyway, so that's right up our alley. Duh. Okay. Anyway, feeling like she a lost cause, and I'm like, girl, stop saying that the universe is listening. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, it's all a lie. You know what I mean? And then we going on a land of men like everybody else do, like girlfriends do not, and none of these say nothing about Jr. None of these. Part three, part four. 
I was not obsessing over him. Why? I had cut off all communication with him after that text. After that Nunnerese. night. I'm just going to oh. keep it a buck with y'all. How we end up right here, Tamar? And with you, Jesse. I unfollowed you because you made a video that was circling around Dish Nation streets. And it made its way to me where... You were laughing at your friend in front of the world. Somebody who helped you, somebody who supported you, somebody who gave you an opportunity that nobody has ever done. Out the, out the goodness and the kindness of my heart because I believed in you. You got on YouTube and laughed in my face. Friend. What's she laugh about? Jeez. So that's why I uh. told you. It wasn't about this story that you made up. I don't feel out with so many people, and I still follow them niggas on Instagram. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't even know if they still follow me. People probably like, damn, Nick still following such and such. They don't follow her. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I genuinely don't care. Like, Don't like your ass at all. Still following. Got you muted on everything. I can't see a story or nothing, Lord. I, I, I don't care. For the fans to make people think that, you know, I'm a horrible person because you said yourself. I love Tamar. I work with Tamar. Tamar has been nothing but nice to me. Ah. Yeah. I'm, I've been nothing but nice to you. So well. which one is it? Is it that? You feel threatened and I threaten you and your friend and I'm this horrible person. I make your work environment horrible and you will have peace and I don't bring peace to the table. Or is it that I'm a nice person? I love Tamar. I work with Tamar. Tamar has been nothing but nice to me. And I've been nothing but nice to you. You said that December. Those text messages happened in November. So why are you doing this? What are you doing? I don't know. Because I don't know where Maybe. any of this came from. I watched the video in horror along with y'all. Like, where is this coming from? Because first of all, she said, I, she will have peace in the workspace. When has there not been peace? We've never had a falling out at Dish Nation. She said, I got my friend um, hired at Dish. I guess she was trying Jesus Christ, what, what what part are we on, Lord? That was part four. Where is part? Okay, I guess this is part five. Yeah. Oh. So that is how that happened, you know? And then she said that she is in line in love. She's worse. That we do agree on. We definitely agree on. I do believe that you're worse than Lonnie Love. Because out of everything that ever happened with me and the girls from The Real, who I am really good friends with to this day, she's never shared a personal text message. And she also said on The Breakfast Club that I am a good person. And then I know Tamar because she's a good person. She never lied and said that <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah, when did Tamar become an editor? I caused the work environment to be hostile. <laughs> Like you did. Everybody became right a YouTuber. And also, what another thing that you lied about, Miss Thing, was that um She don't remember. The girl would never be interested in Jay, whatever, whatever, because we met they all was all y'all was at um uh, all black girl whatever you said. No, he never told me that. He said that they ran into each other at a restaurant, MCK, I believe. Um, and so if that's what she told you, I guess she was trying to lie to you. Well, y'all not friends, so I don't know. Y'all friends, not be friends, could be friends. I don't know. That's, I don't know. But I'm just appalled, Jesse, because <laughs> you were the main person who came to me and told me that I was right about Candy. And you get up here mm. and tell these people that I accuse Candy of something that you know that you know happened to me. And I I just can't. She clearly don't believe the candy shit. I don't know 
know where this is coming from. I don't know. She didn't believe you and she just didn't tell you. What the angle is. But I will not allow you to oh. let people think that I cause your work environment to be hostile when the last time we shot was that day of JR's Christmas party that I didn't invite you to. JR and I had just gotten back together. You wasn't invited, sweetie. I invited Cherry. Sweet. I invited Darius. And I. <laughs> Yo. What part is this? They ain't necessarily saying. I guess. Uh... My social media. So that <laughs> is how that happened. You know? And then she said that she. Is in Lonnie Love. Okay, this is okay. Part six. Catch me saying nothing foul about nobody in no elevator. Why? Because I don't do that. Talking foul in the elevator. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This is so messy. And I'm talking like this catty. This like. Bitch, when you see me in the locker room and you ain't speak, I feel some type of way. Her saying she wasn't talking about her in the elevator really sound like some work shit. Like, this is really, this is some work shit. Y'all, the worst job I ever had with drama, that was drama field. No, I was about to lie. It's between Walmart and Chipotle. Walmart was real bad, though, because it was so many people there. Oh, my God. But Chipotle was really bad, too. But anyway, I digress. I like everybody I work with. Now, what foul stuff do I have to say about any anybody? We're going to a Christmas party. We're excited to go. We're about to have a ball. And in general talking, I did ask you what you was doing. Isn't that a, a general thing to say to somebody that you're friendly with, Jesse? Yes, it is. And if I invited you... Sweet pea, pumpkin pie. <laughs> Why didn't I send you the invite or the address? I I gotta be messy about a Christmas party? Like, come on. Like, that sounds was I messy when I invited you to open up for me on my Love and War tour? Sold out show for two days? Was I messy then? Huh? No. So how can my intentions for you change? Because your intentions for me changed. And I think that that's the problem. I think the problem is, is that, you know, you don't know how to be a friend. You oh. don't know how to be loyal. Oh. You don't know how to be kind. You Damn. don't know how to show love. Because ah. you didn't show me grace. You didn't show me love. Because you sat up here and you made up this fiasco story. Because you knew that people were upset about me getting engaged and going back with JR. And you knew they would click on your little YouTube page. So y'all go follow her. I, Look, I still think she's talented. I still like her music. Download her music and make, make her the superstar she's trying to be. But this time, make her the superstar on her own right and on, on her own talents. Because you are talented. And you know what else? I wish you well. God bless you. I'm still coming to Dish Nation. This is my week. Last week was your week. I didn't interrupt your week. I didn't cause havoc over there. Because you haven't been to work since the beginning of December. You know, so I don't even know where this is happening. Anyway, I'm going to have a blast at Dish Nation. I'm going to enjoy my time with my other co-hosts, Gary with the T and the Brad and Headcrack and Tanner Banner. You know, I'm going to have a blast behind the scenes with the staff and I'm going to live my life. And I'm never, ever going to think about this moment again. Because <laughs> what you're not going to do <laughs> is use my past to make people think that what you're doing is true. You're dead ass wrong for what you're doing. Because what you're not going to do is use my past. Oh, my God. That was torturous to sit through. Somebody said, we don't like the fact that you say you don't like to watch certain stuff because uh, if you don't want to watch it, then don't watch it. Don't watch me, okay? <laughs> because certain shit, it be like, okay, I'm going to watch it. Let's get into it. Girl, you get into it, then you be ready to jump out that thing. I'm trying to tell you. But anyway, we are here. We jumped in, and we have jumped out, okay? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. But knowing all the tea now, 
I just, you know, <laughs> this is so petty. Tamar shouldn't have never texted Jesse shit. She should have addressed Maggie or whoever the fuck. And if Jr. was the one who brought it to her, then he should have been the one to find out what her Instagram was. Not only that, if you know her name, you can Google the damn Instagram. You didn't have to disturb Jesse with that. And then you didn't have to keep telling Jesse, this your friend. That's your friend. That's your friend. And you think I know my friend about to pull up and get some dick tonight? That's none of my business. If she getting what she getting on the late night creep, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? She getting her, you what she getting? Baby, that ain't on me. Like, women don't just be like, girl, I'm about to go get some dick right now. I'm going to just, you know, call you later. It's kind of a conversation the next day, to be honest with you. But however, um, that don't mean they had the conversation. You know what I'm saying? And Tamar know that. So it's like, I just feel like Jesse was trying to speak to her with a little bit of class. And Tamar was wanting her to kiss her ass. Okay? And that just wasn't happening. Okay? She did not have to say that she was trying to unalive anybody. Why would you put that in somebody else's phone as a text message at your big ass age knowing that somebody can use that in court? You done exposed who the girl was now. So if the girl feels some type of way and want to sue your ass, she can, which is crazy, Tamar. Because why would you bring that on yourself? That's a damn threat. So, you know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> this is gonna be one hell of a year okay um and i'm prepared for it, baby we talking about everybody and when i jump in it best believe if i'm ready to jump out i will okay but i will jump in it okay but anyway y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below do you think tamar is wrong um do you think jesse is wrong also, the time limit of when it happened and when Jesse brought it out, it, it it does give like, why did you bring this out? Um, especially if it happened in November, you still having conversations with me and shit like that. Like we ain't got no problems. And you you went on my love and war tour. I'm not understanding that part either with Jesse, because Jesse <laughs> if you didn't like it then, you shouldn't have liked like Jesse pulled a Leo move. You know how you get in an argument with somebody and you feel like you ain't say enough? That's me all the time. Well, I'd be, it'd be 7 o'clock. I had that argument yesterday at 3 o'clock in the morning. I have to get myself together because I want to finish what I started at 3 a.m. because I didn't say enough. I feel like that's where Jesse was going. I don't know what her sign is, but it's given she didn't say enough. <laughs> so, she wanted to get it off her chest on the YouTube video. And <laughs> this shit is petty. But I can't act like this doesn't happen. It is what it is. Uh, and more of it is going to happen. So I hope they squash whatever this is. And um, that's all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.